What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. That's right, we're playing here on Scorched Earth, having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing good, because me, personally, I'm doing pretty amazing. Yeah, cuz... I've been a busy little bee. I promise you guys, I get a lot of work done on my base, and um, I'm here to show you all the awesome and epic work I put in. So come check it out and make sure to show that awesome support for it. I need it. I need it oh so much. Um, last time, we just had a little platform up here, and uh, let me show you. This will kind of give you an idea, a better idea of what I'm working towards. So... Behold, it's still not done yet. It's still got a long ways to go. But yeah, I did a lot, guys. I did a lot. I also added in the mod that allows that uh, basically gives you glass, like just straight up glass. So you can get this epic and awesome look here. So really cool. We're going to be able to see our views on views of the desert, see the sandstorms rolling on in while being in the nice safety of our base. Um, the original platform is still the same. And uh, you can see, let's go ahead and pop in down here. Also, the doors from this mod, it's super cool. Check this out. They automatically open for you. And behind you, they automatically close. It is so cool. I don't know why uh, normal arc doesn't do this. But anyway, yes, this is going to be the bottom floor of our base. So pretty cool. Three high and tons of room. I haven't had time yet to put all the different tables and stuff. But of course, that's what the whole season is going to be about for us to be able to fill up our base and add in all the stuff. But we have plenty of space and room to be able to do it. I hopefully, based on the settings I have, should, should be able to uh, still harvest these metal nodes and then uh, have them respawn back in. Stuff can respawn pretty close. We'll find out, but either way, it is pretty epic. Then, for transferring from the bottom floor on up, we've got stairs. I've got another little level here of... Oh, Let's go ahead and pick that up. Bop, bop. Yep, another little level here, and it completely wraps around. So we've got all the nice views there. And bada boom, over to that corner. So still a lot of things to tidy up. Um, I'm starting to run a bit low on resources, as you can imagine. This took a lot, a real lot. So I hope you guys appreciate it. And then check this out. This will open up too. Come on. We may not have a gate here ultimately. Because I'd like to build up another level over here. And then that will probably be it. So we'll have sort of a similar thing to downstairs. But up above. And I do want to have. Oh, oh, oh. I almost fell right off there. I do want to have um, some actual, you know, open to the air balconies as well. So we may not have the platform on top go as far over. But anyway, work in progress. But I think it's looking pretty good. And was a nice little spot. It's fully filled in for that one floor. So, yeah, pretty epic. I'm going to have to work on a way to get on out to all those resources, too. I think it's pretty cool. So, I hope you guys appreciate it. That being said, this took me so long. Um, we're probably just going to do something quick and easy today. Go grab another tame that I could use. And I think that would, in particular, we got our berries handled. But um, I think I want to get a thorny dragon to help me out with getting wood and all that sort of stuff today. So thanks to our beautiful new RG, which hopefully we'll get a name at the end of the episode. I'll see what you guys put in the comments. Hopefully it will get an epic and awesome name, but it should be pretty dang easy for us to go and trap a thorny dragon. So we got to set up a uh, little taming trap. Um, depending on where the one is that we find... We'll determine whether we bring it all the way back here. So I'm going to go out on the hunt. But guys, 
Just want to remind you, if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc Awesomeness. All right, guys, let's go out on the hunt. Mr. Iguanodon, you get packed back up. I don't even have a feeding bin here yet. I got to work on that. I did set up, though, the gardening station. So uh, this, this cool little uh, structure will actually give a, as if it's a water source. So we can actually have water here. It's so annoying in Scorched Earth how everything leaks. I really wish they had a non-leaking uh, water jar. I think you're supposed to freeze them or something like that so it doesn't leak. But anyway, um, we should be golden on tranks. And um, yes, let's go head out on the hunt. Wish me luck, guys. All right, we're across the map. No luck yet. Every single thorny dragon I've seen has been pretty cruddy level. But I thought since I went this far, I think this is around where there's oil. It's either here or over there. But let's go check it out. We haven't been this far in the map yet. So it should be interesting. Who knows what we run across? Yeah, not seeing any oil nodes just right here. Sulfur, too, could be kind of cool. Look at all this stuff generate in. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. We got a Thyla 360. Dude, a Thyla would be pretty cool, too. Not going to lie. And a Thyla we can pick up. Thank goodness. Kind of surprised they allow you to pick up Thylas with the RG. You know, considering what class of creature it is. But, I don't know. It's pretty cool nonetheless. Ooh, there's a lot of Thylas over here. 480. I think we can afford to look for something, you know, pretty high level. We can hold out. Still Thorny Dragon's top of my list, if possible. Cheesy peas, bro. We really have to level this RG up. Come on. It was a lifesaver in building that base, though. My goodness. All right. Um, right. I'm still stuck between doing um melee versus movement speed. So I'll get a little more melee in. The faster we can uh, get stuff taken out, the quicker we'll be able to level up in general. What do we got? Thorny Dragon, 300, 380. This is pretty much all I've been seeing today. Just not my day. Um, also not seeing any oil, so we might have went to the wrong oil spot. Let's just peek a little bit further, and then I'm going to turn back. What is this white stuff over here? What is this? This. Oh, what are you? Oh, that's an oil node. <laughs> It looked like it was a giant thing underneath the uh, the ground or something. I was like, what the crap is that? Don't even know, bro. Don't even know. All right. Let's go ahead. Hmm. And I wonder what sulfur is going to look like. There's a lot of bones and stuff over here. I wonder if you can harvest the bones in this. Oh, and look. There's even like a little thyla bone thing. Dude, it's moving. No way. Dude, look at this. <gasps> a skeletal thyla. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those before. Yo, skeletal thyla. It's okay. This has got to be from the shiny mod. I see shinies coming off of it. This is our one. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, right. Let's see if I can teleport with them. Uh, can I? Do I have my thing out? All right. Uh, view teleporters, new base. This is kind of sketch. I did set up a taming pen, though, in case we uh, ran into a situation like this. No, not buy all my stuff, please. Oh, I'm already half health. Holy crap. No, stop hitting everything of mine. All right, this one's out of Adobe, though, so I don't know if that's the best to have. All right, come on. All in. All right. Dude. Our RG is hurt. It is super hurt. Brosy, you just chill. I got to do the health too on him. All right. Nope, don't you open up. All right, hopefully he's not going to be able to get out. And I cannot bully him, but I wasn't meaning to do that anyway. Dude, this is so cool. I really hope he can't get out of this. 
All right. Oh, I think we're going to be able to do it. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a real lot. Holy crap. But I think we are going to get the coolest skeletal thylacolio ever. I've never, like, I've seen other mods have them, but it's been a while and certainly not in ASA. This is so cool. Dude, and imagine it with that. Um, we have that special armor mod too to get the special thyla armor. Crap. Come here, buddy. Come here. All right. It's going to take a hot second. So, on that note, hey, buddy. I'll see you back once we're getting close. All right, we're almost there and I can barely see this guy. It's finally, it's starting to clear up. It was straight gray. I could see nothing. If it didn't have those little sparklies, I wouldn't have seen nothing at all. All right, come on, buddy. The next thing that's bothering me is the spyglass is just showing exceptional kibble. Hold on, is that gonna be enough? Ah, it's out. Right, right. It never actually reached 28.3, but it, when you're on a server, sometimes uh, things lag out. All right, I'm going to let them starve out a little bit. Um, I went under the assumption, because we have mutton, that uh, this guy is going to eat mutton. I can't remember if it's cooked mutton or not, so I'm going to look that up real quick. We certainly can't do extraordinary kibble yet, but what an epic, epic creature. Another thing I also, oh, I also want to craft right now because I keep realizing I don't have it. Um, let's see if we can do it. Crap. Bull hook. All right. We have the reusable grapple hook. Crap. I may not have all those. Oh, I do. Thank goodness. All right. We got a grapple hook. Feeling a little better. Um, let's go ahead and make another... Let's see, uh, yeah, one of these so that we can use said grapple hook. Awesome. All right, we're coming along, guys. I'm going to go look up what it takes. Oh, man, I am super lucky that I looked this up. Super glad I looked it up because it actually says that it prefers cooked lamb chops. So let's go ahead, grab that just in case it's not enough. We'll grab that. I got another lamb chop in here. Kind of wish I had foresight to do this ahead of time, but you know, what you gonna do? All right, let's go ahead down here. And we have plenty of uh, narco if we had to put more in, but it seems like it'll be okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh crap. It's gonna take a lot. Crap, crap, I should have cooked up a lot more. No, oh well, oh well. All right, now it goes to normal mutton. Oh, crap nuggets. I thought for sure that would be enough. But hey, uh, it's because, you know, the kibble is its favorite food. So for the next one, in any case, we're probably only going to lose a level or two. Not a big deal when it's got extra levels because it's a shiny. The shinies can go up to 700. Yeah, this one was a 640. Or no, 660. All right. And we got it. Beautiful. Oh, what a gorgeous thing. We can take the rest of the mutton out. And now we have to worry about can we make a saddle for this guy? All right, come on, birdie bird. All right. And I should have it all unlocked. Oh, I did get in the loot drop, by the way. Check this out. Ascendant Rock Golem Saddle. And I also added in a mod that will assist us. We'll talk about it as we get closer to it, but will assist us in uh, getting golems a little bit easier. Um, really wish it was something in Vanilla Arc. Anyway, uh, Thyla... Let's go. Yeah, not a problem. Not in the least. Awesome. All right. Let me get this guy uh, upgraded a bit. And let's try out our new Thyla. Probably our best creature yet of the season. 
All right, saddle is upgraded. I'm actually out of hide, believe it or not. So I could only get it to journeyman, but it's going to have to be good enough. Look at you, bro. This is going to be so cool. Um, let's go ahead, put the pickup thing on him. Bada boom. And by the way, uh, this is the mod that I added in. Um, it's super cool. It gives you uh, the tool to be able to pick up stuff from a distance. Such a an important thing. See that? I can just go and I can pick it up amongst other things. Absolutely love it. I'll make sure to update um, the mods in the description as well as on the Discord to uh, show the new mods that I added in. Anyway, let's get you... You know what? The RG can hold them. We don't need that for this. Come here, Mr. RG. All right, let's go... Uh... Oh, let me refill my water. Dude, so annoying. We got to get uh, some better situations for that going on. Bada boom, filled up. Really, ah, it just annoys me to no end. All right, come here, Mr. RG. All right, let's go head down to the desert. And who knows, maybe we still have a thorny dragon in our future. Um, we definitely got to get some oil. Um, Come on, buddy. All right, dude, there is a loads of stuff from how much time I've been in here building. Holy crap. Oh, look at one of those uh, fast, slow guys. Come here, come here. All right, let's get you picked up for now. Let's go. Thyla away. Oh, I love it so much. All right, come on, buddy. Let's see, what are we going to be hitting for? It's not crazy, crazy, insane strong. That's like around how much our RG was hitting for. All right. Let's go ahead, boost. Most of the other stats, though, are just substantially better. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's getting good with the level ups. All right. Oh, where'd the Mantis go? Mantis. Where the crap the mantis go? Crap, I probably shouldn't have done that. Probably shouldn't have done that. Come on. They can hit through the mount. All right, let's just run. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to have to repair my armor. All right, we need to get hide. So let's go after stuff and start getting levels and get that hide up. All right, beautiful. So the more hide we get, the stronger our saddle can be. Alrighty, that's going to be enough for a few upgrades. So that's cool. 24,000 health. That is nutty. This guy is way beefier. Our RG um, from yesterday only had, I think, 10,000. Of course, we get the uh, residual um, damage over time, too, which is pretty huge for us. All right, come on. Yeah, that's right. You better run away, you little punk. All right, come on. Oh, this is awesome. What are you doing, bro? Yeah, that really adds up. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're going to be unstoppable now. Go away, Vulture. I wasn't doing nothing. I was just minding my own business. You know what we need to make is a shovel. Then I won't have to worry about water as we're, you know, out in the wild. All right, Mantis, come here, buddy. Dude, look at how much we're heading for. This is awesome. All right, very nice, very nice. Bada boom. Let's continue to go. All right, I think this is going to be a safe enough mount that we can actually make our way through the desert, no problem, without worries, without concern. For pretty much hopefully anything we run into i'd be willing to bet this guy's more than good enough to uh be able to take on a death worm all right just getting all the polymer and everything um we can also make other types of armor including the ghillie which we may need for some tames into the future but oil is going to be very important. I know where there is oil for sure, but I don't know. Maybe I'll find something random. 
Come on, come on. Do they have oil wells now? Hold on. I don't remember. Um, let's just see. Uh, bada boom. All right. We've got oil jar, oil pump. All right. That's electronics, though, which we don't have enough. Oh, thank you, rain. It's like the first time that I've been happy it's rained. Actually, I'm happy it rains all the time here. Seriously? This has been happening to me where uh, it shows that it's raining, but it doesn't actually show that it's raining. Or like, it, I can't always fill up my water jar. What the crap? I don't know what's going on. The weather's been kind of funky. I had a couple of sandstorms too off camera where uh, it didn't actually show the sandstorm, but I was getting the negative effects of a sandstorm. It's pretty annoying. Not gonna lie. All right, let's grab a little bit of salt too so that I can make uh, more preservers. The preservers that we currently have, uh, I got in a loot drop. Oh, and look at, we got, thank you. All right, doing good. I do, got, I gotta be careful. The wyvern den is just right there. All right, making our way. We're doing fine on weight. This is the awesome part of playing at such high levels. You saw how much uh, trouble that we ran into early on. But once you actually have some decent mounts, oh, the extra levels are so worth it. Being able to have such good stats to begin with. All right. Um, we're going to be able to level this guy up super quick now because of that extra added XP. So I'm going to fully take advantage of it. Still doing fine on health. Um, I'm going to slowly make my way over to places that may have oil. And we'll see how we do. Oh, crap. Um, we might have a sandworm. No, no. It's another one of these dudes. They are super nasty. I had a run in with one of them. And it puts on this uh, armor reducing uh, crap. And it stays on for a while. So I'm just going to stay away from them. I'd really rather not have to run into another one. I'm starting to get a little low on health. So being a little bit careful, I did do some level ups in it. So that's part of it. Oh, man. But let's just play it a little safe, if possible. But there's lots of goodies around here. I did bring my attack up high enough so I can pretty much one-shot most vultures. So they're not as much of a threat. Jeez. Leave me alone. This has been great, though. It's been raining almost the entire time I've been out here. And I can't tell. It still shows that it's raining. Okay, it's still technically raining. So that's good. I was came in because I thought we were about to battle a sandworm. Which I am super duper pumped for. Um, why don't I start doing some of this to start healing them up in case we do actually run into a sandworm. Also, check that out. Titanoboa egg. So uh, these health things, they don't heal that much. It's only a little bit. Little bit by bit, but it's faster than uh, natural healing. Oh, man. It brings back so many memories. My very first season ever playing Scorched Earth. This is where I lived, right in this little area with this land bridge. It is so cool to see it. It's my first time seeing it um, on ascended let's go ahead i'm gonna have to hop off oh oh i don't know if i hopped off in time crap i was doing so well i, I might have i might have it doesn't look like i took uh that much health damage anyway i'm getting to the point now where i'm out of health potions so we'll let that go up it probably take i don't know 10 to 20 of them to get your health like all the way up which, you know, they're not that expensive now that we have a berry getter. But, you know, it's not nothing either. 
Anyway, uh, slowly making my way over to the uh, oil area, just trying to avoid what I can. Um, I went out of the uh, the main desert just because it was starting to get a bit too hot for my liking. But I know we could fly there. I'm just having so much fun on this new Thyla. And, you know, Thylas, they're able to transverse so very well. I haven't tried climbing yet, though. I haven't had to. I think maybe. Why don't we try it right up here? Actually, I want to go this way. Let's see. Can I make it across? Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, crap. What happened? Crap. And I didn't jump off. It didn't look like I took fall damage. All right. Come on. What's going on here? All right. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Carry on. We're on a mission. It takes a while to run across Scorched Earth. Still looking awesome. 380, man. Every single one I see is either two something or three something. I want a really good one. All right. So making my way. I haven't seen any uh, rock golems yet. Which I'm kind of surprised about. I was expecting I'd run into at least some. All right. Let's see. If I can remember correctly, the oil. Yeah, it's just right down that way. Yep, that's where we're headed. All right, let's see if we got an easy crossing point. All right, that's not too bad. I think that's it. I hope that's it. Oh, go away. Go away. Leave me alone. The last thing I need is for my armor to break. I hope that's not where we tamed this guy. I get a little, a little bit, uh, not lost, lost, but you know what I mean. I still have not checked out all the different areas. All right, let's see if we can do a climb here. Come on, buddy. I did boost his movement speed quite a bit. So hopefully sometimes when Thylas are a little too fast, they don't climb as well. I think that works out pretty well, though. All right, come on. I tell you, the jumping does not seem as far as it should. All right, come on, buddy. Dude, I cannot wait until they have rock drakes again. All right, how are we doing? Let's go over here. I'm trying to think if I've even seen an oil node yet to know what they're going to look like on this. I think there should be oil up there. There should be. There should be. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yeah, this is definitely, I think, where we tamed this guy on the other side here. Let's make our way up here. I hope you don't have to use the, um, the pumps. I don't think you should have to, though. Of course, oil jug bugs would be another way to get some of the starter oil that we need. Which I already have a fair amount, but... All right, we got a Rax. Let's do it. Yeah, baby. Get Rax. That's about the worst thing I've seen yet. All right, we've got an oil node here. All right, let's get rid of all these guys. All right. Hopefully those weren't high level. I'll be mad if they were. Are we cleared? All right. Let's just see. Can you harvest this at all? Oil vein. No. Didn't they used to have it where you'd have to, like, harvest the top? Did I just make that up? Where you harvest the top of it to expose the vein? All right. So we've got veins here, but where's the actual uh, oil I can harvest? We need some. All right, guys. Couldn't find any oil. Um, shifting gears a bit, though. If we can find in a supply drop one of those uh, oil machines, that will fix our problem. Or I do have enough oil that if we can get some silica pearls um, to make electronics, we can make our own. Because we have plenty, enough oil to do the fabricator and uh, gas. Oh my goodness, go away. Go away. I did head back to the base, made some more health potions. And uh, we I was able to upgrade our Thyla saddle to, not max yet, but we're getting close. We're in the 200s. 
All right, go away, stuff. Go away. Go away. I don't know if silica pearls are going to be in this one, but let's go have a gander. I can remember when I can find pearls. They're pretty abundant, but they're not in every single spot. Are those pearls there? I can't tell. They don't. Oh, my goodness. Go away, bugs. Go the crap away. Go. All right. Um, right. Let's switch up for a hot second to the Thyla. And pull and Thyla. All right. I think this will be easier. Come on. Let me on. I think this will be easier to be able to use our whip with him. What a boom. And we'll just see. I have a feeling there's going to be no pearls here. Oh my goodness. All right. So I'm going to go just follow this river along until hopefully we find some pearls. Because if we don't, we're going to be in trouble. I know it's in one of them. I know there's some in one of them. Just finding that one is the problem. Come on, pearls. Show yourself. Oh, my goodness. Finally, finally. I've been at this for like a while, and I just got a whip that gave me a pearl. So I know there's pearls here. Let me show you my location. That's where I am. Hmm. So frustrating. I feel like this entire like lake should be jam-packed with pearls. Um, but it's really not. It's really not. Um, and it's easier to find if you're like kind of on foot. Come on. I know there's pearls in here. I just show the peeps. Just get one pearl. Just one. You can actually see them in the water, but you can't really use the whip always. So I'm hoping that we can get it like this. Come on. Get one more pearl. Get one more. I don't want to get out of this area until we grab one. If there's one pearl, there's got to be more pearls. Come on, dude. Just get the stupid pearl. I'm so sick of this. I might have enough pearls already from just like a few whips 184 let me do the whip in here just because i can't see that well oh my goodness so much shenanigans all right this is a little deep here the water is pretty murky though let's see can i see better in here look at how murky this is oh this whip this is the reusable whip it's actually letting me use it under the water. I don't think the normal whip does that. Man, and stupid sandstorms. Just non-stop. Storm after storm after storm. Killing me. Alright, let's get back to the base. Anyway, so I've, I found some pearls. Let's see if it's going to be enough. Uh, d -Mac, new base. Because I am all out of water. Jeez. All right. Let's see if we can make ourselves the go-go fabricator. Actually, um, let's make this guy's fabricator. Fabricator. Bada boom. All right. Hopefully, this one will allow me to use uh, gas in it. If not, we're going to have to craft the other one, too. All right. Bada boom. And then let's grab the gas that we have. All right. Cool. Um, Let's throw in the pearls. Let's throw in some metal. All right. Cool. And composites. All right. Boom. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so 61. That's enough to do a generator. What do we need for the oil thing? Uh, ooh, just 25. You know what? Let's do that. Instead of doing a generator first, let's do this first. Bada boom. Awesome. Oh, so annoying. All right, uh, Mr. Thyla, you get packed up. 
Let's get out the RG, and as soon as the sandstorm ends, um, RG, I am going to head back and let's slap down this thing so that we can have for next episode, hopefully, while I'm offline, it will continue to collect oil. All right, we have arrived. I'm sure there's an oil spot that's closer to my base, but I I don't want to hunt for it today. Let's just go ahead and see if we can slap this bad boy down. Boom! Awesome! And hopefully, come next episode, it will be filled with loads and loads of oil. This, I do not know if it's going to stay rendered in if I'm not in the area, but hopefully it will. So, that all being said, what a day, guys. Awesome skeletal thyla and our very first oil pump. Plus, of course, the mega base building has begun. Oh, anyway, let's head back to the base and let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments. And yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and yeah, just comment down below it is just that easy anyway for today we have the frozen iguanodon and the dazzling rg their names will be ice shard love it and bling bling otherwise known as bling bird i love it perfect names guys perfect names um for next time i forgot to have them out let's go ahead and pull them we have the Skeletal Thyla. So help me out with an epic name. What should we name it? Dude, it's so cool. I love it. So help me out with an epic name for that. And hopefully I can get a whole bunch more base progress done. Of course, we need to get some better harvesters so we can make it go ever so that much quicker. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe all right guys i'll see you tomorrow as always peace out